now we're partway through phase three, part one. Uh, this is Doctor Strange, which came out in 2016. I think, pretty sure this is film 14, I need to check. Uh, so, I think I've got like 10 films left or something like that, or nine films. But yeah, so uh, this hour, this was an hour and 55 minutes long, and it's a whole different world uh, from what we've been seeing before. All right, so obviously, Benedict Cumberbatch, Doctor Strange. Uh, there's, um, oh yeah, if I didn't say already, like, comment, share, subscribe, and click on my Twitch stream in the description box down below. That's where you'll find the link. Uh, and obviously, let me know what you think about this film in the comments below. All right, so obviously, this film, it got a, let me have a look, see. It was it cost 165 million to make because of all the special effects and shit, but it got back. You know, 677 million back in the box office. So pretty good. Again, uh, not real, but not bad at all for a character that maybe not a lot of people know about unless they're a big comic book fan or whatever. But he's not one of the, like, you know, first name comes to mind when you say, who do you know from Marvel characters or something. So Doctor Strange, uh, first outing, really, really good. So the good thing about these things is, you know, even though you've seen all the other Marvels till now, this is so different and so odd. Uh, you know, you cannot predict how the how, you know this film at all until you go see it and you start realizing it's all about the mystic arts and magic and space time uh, dimensions and transitioning through everything. You know, it's it's very very cool because we've seen although like hero skills, you know, that Thor could do, Loki could do, uh, and, you know, there's, we've seen, like, a lot, of, a lot of magical stuff from these guys, and the Infinity Stones with the Power, power Stone in, in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, but now we're on to the, the Time Stone, uh, and, you know, the visuals in this is really nice, you know, they've got all the, the, the cool little spells, uh, the, the portals, and the, the, the mirror dimension, uh, and that, and, you know, everything looks different, uh, and it's pretty cool, they do the Astro, Astro forms and that, and so explain what it's all for and the uses of it and and that. So it's really, really, really fun film to watch. You know, it's obviously his um, also um, what's it called? His personal development from going from like a selfish, all about me doctor, I'm the best, get me fame for the amazing surgeries I'm doing, to like realizing that you know he should be using his talents and his skills and his mind and his uh, and his abilities to uh, aid and defend the world you know he goes from like all about him to it's all about everything uh, which is uh, obviously very very cool to see because then we see him become the epic doctor strange that uh, we all know and love throughout like infinity wars and stuff with he's got the, the cloak of levitation He's got uh, the Ai Agamotto, which obviously has the Infinity, Infinity Stone, in, which is the time which I mentioned. You know, so, you know, we're really, I think that's the fifth one now. You know, it's like the fifth one. So we're really like honing in on all the gems, uh, which is proper sick. Uh, but yeah, so again, this film, very, very good. You know, he's a great character to watch. The only thing I hate in this film was that the Christian Christine girl, the... Rachel McAdams, because she has such a massive mole on the side of her face, and the camera kept going to that side. And any time I was eating or whatever, it it really put me off. Yeah, I can't stand shit like that. Uh, it's really petty. But all I focused on on the shots was this giant brown mole, and I was like, "This is making me feel ill." It was. So I had to stop eating and shit. Uh, so she needs to like get that surgically removed because I was just doing my. I couldn't. St I couldn't like bear to look at it. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, fantastic, fantastic film. It's a lot, a lot of fun, uh, and you know, it's definitely opening up to what's going to be happening real soon. You know, we're really getting everyone together now. So we just had Black Panther before, as uh, Spider Man, and now Doctor Strange. I think this is the the whole crew uh, we finally got on screen. Uh, but yeah, again, a very fun film. You know, it's a, just like spacey as shit. If people are high and watching this, you know, they will absolutely love it, especially the big fight through the city uh, when, you know, the Sorcerer Supreme appears, but, uh, but when they're all running through it, the whole city, like, chip-chopping and mishmashing and 
blending together. You're like, fuck me, man. It's like, this stuff's wild. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, and it's also cool because the staff of the Living Tribunal was mentioned, which is one of the Celestials, and it was used quite a lot throughout the film uh, with the, the black dude. So that's pretty damn good. But anyway, let me know what you think about this film. I, I liked it. It is, it's not, not I mean, there's obviously uh, way better Marvel films, but this is a really good, you know, this this character is this shit. Enjoy uh, and did a solid, you know, solid effort on it. I, I very much enjoyed it. But yeah, that's it. See you later. Bye.